Thank you. I feel great, man. I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the fight. I honestly believe that this is going to be a, a fun heavyweight fight for myself and for the, for the fans. Do you think that this it could be another upset in the boxing industry? You don't have enough to say that you're here. A lot of the I, don't, I don't consider it as an upset if I win. If I win, how is it an upset? It ain't no upset. I'm here to win. I'm supposed to win. You know what I mean? Just because he's undefeated, that don't mean shit. You know, he's fought some good fighters, but I fought better. No offense to his opponents, but I have a quality opponent. And that being said, man, he's not fighting Washington. He's not fighting Yago. He's not fighting whatever the fuck the rest of the guy's name is. He's fighting Chris Ariola. Let's remember this. When I fought Wilder, I broke my foot on March 4th. I got my cast off March, on May, mid-May. I got the phone call and I'm fighting Wilder in July, all right? I didn't get no training camp. I just went straight to the fight, like five weeks, six weeks training, and that's it. This, I actually got some training camp. I got some work in, so this ain't, this ain't the same Chris Ariola that fought Wilder last time. Do you like facing undefeated fighters? I love fighting, period. I love fighting. I'm a fighter, man. I, I, I honestly get a boner when I'm about to fight. It makes me feel... There's no better competition to me than boxing. Uh, or, or MMA, you know? There's two men going to the ring, and you're testing each other's manhood. And after that, you shake hands like nothing happened to me. That's the most gentleman sport that there is. And I look forward to that. I look forward to the fight, and I look forward to shaking hands after. You enjoy humbling people, though? Like, like oh, I love it. I love it, man. Ain't nothing like hitting somebody in the face with a stiff jab, and they're like, oh, shit. That's the best feeling in the world. But the, at, the same, at the same time, it's coming back to me. And I love it, too. I love getting punched. It makes me feel like I'm in a fight. If I get punched, we're in a fight. Now we're fighting. Now it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a scrap. You feel like you're coming in overconfident? Do I feel like he's coming over confident? No, man. He should come. He should be here confident, man. He's undefeated. He should be very confident. He's fighting in his home crowd, and um, nah, there's nothing against him feeling confident. I, it doesn't bother me none. If he thinks he beat me up, that's good. He should feel that way. Yeah, how about the crowd? The crowd's gonna be against you. It's gonna be a, a pro, pro Polish crowd. Well, guess what? The crowd get in, can't get in the ring. You know, at the end of the day, they can cheer all they want for him. And you know what? It's only gonna give me added motivation to beat him. In all honesty, and and like I said, fans can come in there, and it's gonna be one on one. Yes, sir. You, feel you need a knockout. That absolutely, knockout. absolutely. Gotta have to, gotta have a knockout in New York, especially if I fight in his backyard. No, you know, um, no offense to the to the judges, but I don't like the judges, man. You've seen the de the decisions they've made in the last couple of years, but at the end of the day, man, this is boxing, man. I love the sport, and I just gotta get it get uh, get it done as soon as I can. Hey Chris, with the news with Dillian White uh, over at the UK, um, did you have any thoughts about that? Uh, just seeing the whole situation playing let me, out? Let me just say this. If it smells like shit, it's probably shit. Meaning if he, if he tested positive, he probably did do it. And personally, I, I, I have no respect for somebody that steps in the rain that does steroids. None whatsoever. You're playing with my life. You're playing with someone else's life. Regardless, man, if you don't have the balls to get in the ring with what you got, and what's, and what's legal, then you you don't belong in the ring. You should get suspended for at least a couple of years, man. How much better of a job do you think the sport of boxing needs to do from a regulatory standpoint to make sure that the sport is clean? You know what? The, the sad thing is that I believe that the sport is trying to do the best it can by testing the fighters. But the fighters got to be hold themselves accountable. The coaches have to hold themselves accountable also. Because the coaches are part of the fighters every freaking day. So not only should the fighters be in trouble, should, so should the, the coaches, the strength conditioning coach, wherever it is, someone has to be held accountable for, for the actions of a fighter taking steroids. Before that fight, obviously, the fighter could have been involved in border control. His opponent was not informed that any of this was going on. If you were in that position, where your opponent has had an adverse finding of his test, how angry would you be? I'll be, I'll be furious. I'll be furious. I'll be, I'm not the one to sue, but I'll be suing. I'm not a guy to sue, but like, come on now, you playing with my life. You, you are messing with someone's life when you take your steroids. You, you realize that. You're going in the ring, 10 ounce gloves, and you know, you're getting a, 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 an advantage for taking a legal substance like that. Like, come on, man. Do you think the landscape? Was I surprised? Yeah, I was very surprised. You know, especially coming in, in, in a big fight like that. Why? Why even, why even risk it? 
I was very surprised about that. I was very surprised. I guess they wanted to get paid, right? Yeah, I have to use angles. I have to. I have to be defensive minded. I have to have a lot of defense because he's a, like I said, he's a fighter that uh, throws a lot of punches. He has a lot of amateur experience, and that's where that comes from. You know, and the amateurs is bunches of punches, and uh, pros is quality of punches, but. With his, his uh, uh, violent punches that he throws, there's some quality inside those 10 punches. There'll probably be two quality punches, but that's all that matters, that you have some quality punches that hit. Chris, what do you think about him? He's able to throw a lot of punches. He obviously doesn't look like someone who's in fantastic shape. Yeah. But he's able to produce a lot of punches. What does that say? Don't judge it punch by cover. Look at, look at the champion. We have a Ruiz right now that is uh, uh, with the dad ball, like everyone says. But you know what? I've known that kid since he was 17 years old. And since he was 17 years old, he's always been a fat kid. But since he was 17 years old, he's always had fast hands. He hit hard. And he moved good and run inside the ring. So at the end of the day, they're talking about he needs to lose weight. I'm like, what the fuck for? He is what he is. He's a good fighter. He trains hard. He works hard. He fights hard. That's all that matters. That's all that matters because I remember when I was a fat boy, and which I still am. Um, you know, uh, I worked hard, I trained hard, but sometimes the weight doesn't come off. It's okay as long as you're in shape to go 12 rounds. That's all that matters. Obviously, you're fighting at a lower weight now. So what made that the right decision for you to lose weight for you? You know, it's not so much lose weight; it's maintain weight. Because before I used to like I weigh in like at 240, right, 235. After the fight, I would balloon up to like 280, 290. That's fucked up, that's horrible. That's horrible. Now, after I fight, I maintain weight. If I get over 250, I get my ass in the gym. Because I don't want to be over 250. Because when it comes to training camp, I want it to be a boxing training camp. I don't want it to be a fat camp like it once was. Now, now with a win over Adam and seeing that Dylan White has been removed from that situation, does this put you next line up for whatever school it, to, to be honest, I have no idea. All I know is that I have to pay uh, pay my dues to get that title shot. So if I get the next one after this one, good. If I have to fight again, then then be it. The thing is, man, I got to... My quest is a title. My quest is to win, be, be a world champion. And obviously not the first, but, you know, be a champion, period. Chris, do you think the landscape of the heavyweight division changed after Ruiz? Oh yeah, it changed big. Because once he won, you, my thought was, holy crap, these belts are gonna be split. That's my, that was my first thought. As soon as he won, it was like, holy fuck, this is a big win for boxing. Not only a fat boy won, which means, you, you guys may think it's funny, it is funny, but a fat boy won, which means it gives, other man thoughts that you know what this don't mean nothing I can still do it so it gives hope to people and it's a good thing for boxing man you never know like I said the belts may be split and they may be more than two champions what does it mean for you it means more opportunities that's exactly what it means more opportunities and a, um, a brighter future um I honestly see Ruiz winning again um, his style, is, you know how they say styles make fights, and this style is just not 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 good for uh, uh, Anthony Joshua. I, I feel like Anthony Joshua doesn't know how to fight from the inside. You know, he's a UK fighter, and for me, the way I see them is like real stand-up fighters that like fighting from the inside. And once you're inside, they're lost, and that's exactly what happened with Ruiz. Do you think mentally he's ready to, to do this again after what happened to him in that fight? Yeah, man, you 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 get. Boxers get have a, a short memory, man. We don't we don't care about what happened last week. We don't care about what happened a year ago. All that matters is what's gonna happen in the next fight. You know, who cares what happened with me and John Pascal? Who cares? Now that I'm fighting uh, um, uh, um, Kaunaki, you know what I mean? My last fight don't mean nothing. This fight's the fight that's important. Now you mentioned you wanted to fight guys with both. Does Tyson Fury also interest you in that mix of uh, potential fights in the future? You know, we got Willie. We got Willie. Uh, but first things first, we got to take care of uh, Kaunaki this Saturday, man. Because without winning, I retire. I lose, I retire. I said it before and I'll say it again. If I lose, I retire. Not because I'm here to win championship, not to get paychecks. Two more questions, man. 
identify and what the message that you would like to give to all people that are in Spanish. What was the question? What was the message that you would like to give to the community in Spanish and who would you like to dedicate this fight? Well, I'm going to answer it twice. In English and in Spanish. Um, you know, this fight just means more chances, more opportunities for myself. And it's showing people that, you know what? Never give up on your dreams. You know, whatever it is, man, like Nipsey Hussle says, it's a marathon, man. Whatever it is, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint to the finish, it's a marathon. It's been 15 years in the making. And you know what, if it's gonna take two more years to be a champion, then be it. But one loss and I'm out. And this, 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 this fight is dedicated mainly you know, to all the boxing fans, all of them. Whether you hate me, you love me, it's to all of you because I am nobody without the boxing fans. Como digo, esta, esta, esta pelea está dedicada a todo, 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 toda la, la gente aficionada mexicana, toda la aficionada americana, todos los aficionados. Me quieres o no me quieres, no me importa es para ustedes. Y ganando esta pelea, nomás abre más puertas y más oportunidades para, para, para mí y para la vida. A ustedes. I honestly love fighting. I love it. I love it. And I'm looking forward to fighting someone like Kalnaki because he's a guy that he's a guts and guts kind of fighter. Guts and glory, he's coming, he's he's gonna fight. He's gonna he doesn't care if he's cut, he doesn't care what's wrong with him, he's gonna keep coming. And um, that's gonna be a fun fight for me, a fun fight for the boxing fans, and that's probably a fight that I would actually would want to watch myself. I haven't seen none of my boxing fights, and this one I might want to watch it later. You don't watch it after nah, you play? nah. Even the good ones. The good ones, the bad ones, no, I don't like watching it. And if like you know, I've been places that they were showing it, I'll be like, I'll look up a little time, but I don't pay attention to it because I lived it. It's kind of weird. Yeah.